<laughs> well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. Oh, better ease off a bit here. Getting carried away there. Yeah, thanks for joining me today on a little, little leisurely ride out. And uh, we're going to discuss... It's often talked about quite a lot. And uh, we're going to talk about the comfort. He's having a good old look at the CCM. We're going to have a discussion about the comfort of the CCM motorcycle. I mean, looking at the bike, generally, take a right here, it doesn't look that comfortable. But I'm telling you now, don't be disillusioned by that. And there's no end of videos I, I watch and you, know, you hear and comments you read of, oh, you know, looks like riding a plank of wood or, you know, and, I, and I'll be perfectly honest, no. Unfortunately, it's very difficult to uh, to get a test ride on one unless you're up maybe uh, near the factory in Bolton. So, uh, unfortunately, I'm not. I'm uh, a long way from there, but I actually didn't even test ride one before I bought one. I took, you know, I did watch a lot of reviews. Well, there weren't many reviews about the bike online or, you know, Lots of lovers and there's lots of haters to this machine. But me owning the bike now for well, a few months now I think. It's amazing how quick the time goes, but I can honestly say that luckily I've not had any problems or any major problems anyway. The roads are a bit shitty around here so I need to go a little easy. Lots of uh, patches on the road. Perfect these roads uh, for this machine. Oh, look what we've got there. The white van man. <laughs> Not hanging about though, is he really? windy today. Hope you can hear me okay. But yeah, I mean the bike is due a service so we're going to come to my house actually and do that. Um, I seem to be losing a little bit of the clutch feel there so I don't know whether the, the clutch could do with a, a bleed. I've got a hydraulic clutch on here. So, uh, yeah, I don't really want to get caught out with that, so probably going to, thank you, probably going to mention that and uh, get them to bleed out when they come and do the service. So, oh, got, got, got a fly buzzing around in my helmet there. She sounds lovely. Lovely. But yeah, I mean, even the stock suspension really with me is uh, is okay. It's not rattling my teeth out anyway. Um, can't really moan too much about that. Absolutely fine. Coming on, about let's have a look, see what mileage we've got. Gone the wrong way there with the buttons. 764 mile. It's a fair amount of mileage, really. Wonderful. <laughs> I generally leave it on the trip setting there because, like I say that, I've said before, the fuel gauge, well, there is no fuel gauge, and the light on there I can barely see. I think I've been generally getting about 100 miles before that light comes on after refueling, but I always reset that counter to zero, this one, the trip, so it's that way then to gauge, so and there is generally a little bit left in the tank, I 
probably got a couple of litres reserve, but don't quite know where that would be sitting in the tank as far as being sucked out, you know, to uh, keep the bike running. Well, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell. Plenty more bike content coming to the channel. Ride out reviews, just general ride outs and uh, yeah, got plenty more on the cards. Plenty on the channel, have a look if you are new. Oh, roads are a bit damp here. Feel a little bit easy. No electronics on this bike whatsoever, nothing. Not even ABS, just pure raw motorcycle riding. Which is okay on a bike like this. The single cylinder CCM Spitfire. Loads of shit in the road. Oh, yeah. Not ideal today, the conditions. Oh well. This means giving the bike a clean when I get home. She loves to be wound open. Absolutely loves it. She's, she's in her element. And me as well. <laughs> Better go easy, really. Never really know what's around the corner here. But perfect roads for this machine. But yeah, it'd be nice to get that bike out, uh, the bike service done and out of the way. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, be ready then for the summer. So yeah, if you're thinking about considering buying one of these, then yeah, I've not really got a bad word to say about it, to be honest. I mean, there's a few things uh, that, you know, like, you know, that I'd probably change, like having a key for the ignition rather than the key fob. Um, Yeah. Well, anyway, thanks for joining me today, and uh, yeah, on this lovely countryside ride out, discussing the CCM Spitfire 6. So, uh, yeah, take care. See you soon. See ya.